how this game works. I wrote the book, the memo, and we do the work at Operation Hope because I'm convinced that you are really smart, but you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> it's what you don't know that you don't know that's killing you, but you may think you know. So where am I at now? It seems like I'm just at a nice hotel. Uh, and I am at a nice hotel, but that's not where I'm at. I'm here speaking at a conference tomorrow, but this is not a hotel. This is a scene of a crime. In fact, this is a scene of probably the largest economic crime of the 80s uh, and early 90s, probably the, yeah, the mid-80s. Uh, it, it, it was responsible for billions of dollars of, uh, of loss for the American public. Uh, it uh, was a dream of one guy named uh, Keating. I forget his first name, but uh, if you just look up Keating, K-E-A-T-I-N-G, um, he was a developer here in Arizona, and he built something called the Phoenician which was um, the most glamorous hotel, certainly in Arizona at that time, but arguably at that time, possibly in the country. Um, and it went bust. <laughs> it went bust. His savings and loan, I think it was called Lincoln Savings and Loan, went bust. He basically used a bank like it was a piggy bank. And uh, he had hired all his family. And they, I mean, it, read the report, got involved, a bunch of senators. It was called the Keating Five, uh, who got in trouble. Three of those senators actually lost they well chose not to go to, to do re-election, go for re-election. Was that bad? Um, and uh, the reason I bring this up is, you know, you check into a hotel or you go someplace, you may not know what's going on. You may just think it's, you know, a place. The reality is, every place has a history, and and underneath the history of this hotel, of this resort, is again one of the biggest economic crimes um, in the nation's history, and certainly of the, of the um, uh, savings and loan crisis. But it's a lesson. How did this guy Keating do this? Like, I would never do this. This is not the way I want to do business or make money. But this guy Keating understood the memo on real estate development, on the banking laws of that time, of the savings and loan laws of that time, of how to manipulate them, how to manipulate politicians. <laughs> Keating once said, when they asked him, you know, you get, you donated all this money to these politicians. Did you, did you hope that these guys would ever, would, would help you if you were in trouble? He said, I, I, unequivocally absolutely hope so yes <laughs> okay so he was arrogant about it um and again i'm not endorsing his model in fact i think his model is disgusting and i would never do it but he took time to understand the system that he was in, he thought he was in and of course all that crumbled but do you understand legitimately the system that you're living in do you understand how money works do you understand the mortgage that's uh, on the house that you're living in if you if you have a mortgage in your house? Did you actually read those documents or ask the questions of the closing attorney uh, about what you know it meant from to have an adjustable rate mortgage or a fixed rate mortgage uh, if you're in the United States? If you're in South Africa, you have a bond. Uh, <clears throat> do you understand the terms of that small business loan or the line of credit that you have? Uh, do you understand the power of credit scores and what it can do to transform your life? Uh, when's the last time you checked your credit? Do you know there's an error on your credit report? Do you know that if there's an error on your credit report, there, there, there's a, uh, I call it silver rights, not civil rights, silver rights, S-I-L-V-E-R. You have a silver right to have uh, that removed. And the, the law states that the credit bureaus cannot remove that, prove that it is yours within 30 days, that error, I call it an error, that item on your credit report, they must remove it within 30 days. And when that happens, Using my Operation Hope coaches, they do it for free. Uh, you get a 40-point pop often in your credit score. So if you're a 580, automatically you go to 620, and that changes your whole life. Now, that's something small in your life, but big in your financial life. This guy, Keating, took no money of his own almost, and in today's terms, billions of dollars of the public's money, and he manipulated it. And one of the things I keep trying to tell people is, you know, Wall Street's a mystery. Like, it, Wall Street produces three times more annual economic activity than Washington, D.C. But poor people and struggling families are obsessed with what's going on in Washington and are glued to the TV half of the day or whatever, or listening to what's going on in Washington, D.C. And you should be concerned about what's going on with your politicians and our republic and our democracy, right? But no one really is paying attention to Wall Street. And the guys on Wall Street, respectfully, are really happy that you are not interested they, they, because then that means that they have all the knowledge to themselves. You know, people say, my last point, people say, well, John, you know, all it doesn't take all this knowledge, right? You keep talking about financial literacy and all this, the memo. It doesn't take all this knowledge. Just take all the money in the world and distribute it to everybody equally. 
problem solved. Take the rich people's money and distribute it to everybody equally. No, let me tell you what would happen. You do that and in three to five years, the top 3% who own that, who have that money and that wealth will have it again because they got the memo on wealth and we did not. It's what we don't know that we don't know that's killing us, but we think we know. This is the memo on wealth creation. It may be part of a series I do. Again, I just checked into a hotel. Didn't, I didn't think I was going to do this video, but this is really a powerful lesson. Is check it out, the Phoenician. Do your research. I'm going to put the, some photos from the from the hotel on my uh, Facebook page so you can check it out. I may write a little story about it. But everything has a story. Wherever you go, there's an economic story underneath it. I want you to understand not just the civil rights story of your life, but the civil rights story of your life because those two things are connected. John Hope Bryant, I'm out. Peace and light. Go see one of my coaches at Operation Hope today.